Our story today is like a trail. It has a trailhead. It starts really with an idea. It continues down the path that we have today. And most importantly, it looks ahead to what's possible. Hi, my name is Joe Wickland, Communications Director for the City of Hermantown. And I want to walk you through the story of the Hermantown Connector Trail System. Our trail begins in St. Louis County, Minnesota, one of the largest counties in the United States of America, and three communities situated on the far western tip of Lake Superior. To tell us more about the idea and time and beginnings of the Hermantown Connector Trail System, let's hear from Eric Johnson, the Community Development Director for the City of Hermantown. Uh, the city started thinking about a uh, connector trail system that could link the communities of Hermantown, Proctor, and Duluth. And the purpose of which is to provide a connection from Hermantown all the way down to the Munger Trail in Duluth. And that connection would be a paved non-motorized, accessible trail stretching from the northern edge of Hermantown to its southern border into neighboring Proctor and of course down to the world-class Willard Munger Trail. Really, whether hiking, biking, strolling, being pushed in a stroller, you could touch key parts of Hermantown, cut through Proctor and all the way through Minnesota via the Munger Trail. And it would be maintained and opened 365 days a year. No small task here in northern Minnesota. In fact, let's fast forward from idea to today, where the first section of the Hermantown Connector Trail System is completed. Let's head out to the Boulder Trail and enjoy it during those winter months. This trail has been just wonderful. I've met families on the trail. The children are on skateboards or on uh, rollerblades, and mom and dad are walking along, and people are taking advantage of being able to be outside, fresh air, and no traffic. In addition to being safe and well-kept, we often see animals um, along the way. Plessies. Don't forget the wild turkeys. And yes, we, we've seen wild turkeys, quite a flock. To learn more about the Boulder Trail, let's check back in with Eric Johnson. The Boulder Trail, in a way, consists of three different elements or three different trail segments. Uh, the city worked with St. Louis County uh, back in 2018, 2019, for the paving of the right-of-way uh, associated with work with Maple Grove Road. Uh, St. Louis County, uh, long-standing partnership with the city, uh, basically they paved about a quarter mile of, once again, right-of-way area, a 10-foot wide uh, path, going from Stebner Road to our park at Stebner Park. Uh, the city was able to obtain a grant, a um, community development block grant through St. Louis County uh, that was the creation of the next trail segment. It's approximately 900 feet, which goes through Stebner Park. Uh, the whole purpose of at least that trail segment was to provide ADA accessibility for people uh, going to the park. Uh, there had never been any way for people to get from the parking lot to the fields area. So that trail serves two purposes. It allows people to you know, basically go through our park and still access the trails in a more safe manner, but it also uh, provides that next uh, walking segment, biking segment for the city. Uh, the big portion or our, crown, or our crown jewel so far is basically that Boulder Trail. The, um, that was through a couple different uh, processes and, and funding sources. Uh, the city obtained a Greater Minnesota Regional Parks and Trails Commission grant. It's basically through Minnesota Legacy Dollars for $820,000. Uh, that happened in 18, the contract was finalized in 19. So that work um, was envisioned to connect Stebner Park all the way down eventually to Keene Creek Park. Uh, the, trade, the city was able to build two segments associated with that uh, through combinations of these this funding 
grant that we had, as well as uh, a city pro project with our sanitary sewer work. So the city was able to uh, construct about two miles worth of trails, once again, going from Stebner Park, also connecting over to the Hermantown Marketplace, with the southern terminus being at Hermantown Road. To date, here in the summer of 2022, we have the Boulder Trail, a significant section of the Hermantown Connector Trail System completed, as well as a portion of a more southerly section going into Keene Creek Park. Now, let's look forward. How does the Hermantown Connector Trail System become complete, both across Hermantown and beyond? That answer depends on funding and voting. Let's hear from Eric how the trail system has been funded thus far. Yeah, to date, the city's constructed well over two miles of trails, and the beauty of that is, is none of that money's associated with that was, was associated with, with property taxes. Uh, it all came through um, uh, utility work that the city was doing, or grant opportunities. Uh, so far, the city's probably paid for two to two and a half million dollars worth of trails, and it's not on property taxes at all. It's been done through our utility programs, as well as through the uh, grant opportunities that the city's been able to obtain. While one significant grant brought the Boulder Trail to life, there are many communities competing annually for limited grant dollars, which is where voting comes into play, both in Hermantown and Proctor. In November of 2022, voters in both communities will have the chance to decide to fund the trail system much more quickly and fully using local sales tax. And while there certainly will be planning and construction time, the Hermantown Connector Trail System, once just an idea, will be close to being complete. Along with the current Boulder Trail and small section in Keene Creek Park, should voters approve the local sales tax option, the remaining sections of the trail will be a reality. Really, the, the beauty of, this, of these four different trail segments is you see so many different things throughout the city. You'll see your neighbors uh, as you're walking along. Uh, you'll see different uh, woods and, and wetlands associated with our city that people really know us for and then you'll be able to see uh some of our other uh, gems that we have the, the wellness center the schools and then the hermantown marketplace so the, the really nice thing is is you could be living at one of these trail segments and you could walk to one of our retailers grab grab dinner grab an ice cream cone and really for the most part only have to cross one or two roadways for the most part so it's, it serves a number of purposes, not only recreational, but also a way for people to potentially commute and hopefully even get to school someday as well. So um, the, the hope is that we get people more out in the public, uh, have a chance to interact with their neighbors and really experience the great things that the city has to offer.